Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, happy Wednesday. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. Let me know down below how your day went, if it was more like eh, or if it was like one of the better ones out there, keep me posted. Mine was like eh, kind of thing. And now it's like questionable. But we are thankful regardless. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys an I'll keep you posted video. It's where I keep you posted on certain makeup and skincare items. I let you know if the products worked out for me or if the products did not work out for me. I also let you know if the product was sent to me or purchased by me. I love making these videos because um, it's a good way for me to actually use the product, see what the vibe is and keep you guys posted. And then also a lot of you guys always tell me like, you never keep and then it got me thinking, like, I really don't. So that's why I started this, these, these videos, basically. So I have a roundup of 10 goodies here. Get comfortable, get cozy. I have my Perrier up on deck, which is pretty much finished. Um, and yeah, let's get started with this one. Okay, so first up, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills ABH um, Face Trio. Really beautiful packaging, love that. This right here retails for $58, and I did purchase this on my own from Ulta. So we get a bronzer, highlighter, and blush. This item right here for me is questionable in a way. I definitely 100% do not feel like it is worth the $58. If they would be like, okay, $25, Okay, sure, yeah, I would give $25 for this, but 58, no. The bronzer is nice, very, very pigmented, even though this is the lightest of the trio that they have. They have this trio and two other ones to choose from, I wanna say. Bronzer is very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way, which is great, but it's the kind of bronzer that goes wrong really, really fast, so you need to be careful with that one. I need to be careful, like, really? Um, highlighter is nice once it's kind of worked into the skin upon initial, like, swatch and initial application it can look very PC and very like dusty on the skin and it's not it doesn't look one with the skin i would say so not crazy about that one it also doesn't look like anything special i feel like there are drugstore highlighters that look the same and then in regards to the blush i actually do enjoy the blush it's a pretty color it is pretty light in tone so it is one that i do have to build up even if i'm going for that lighter look so i think this is okay not my favorite trio ever i think the reason why i'm being harsher on this one is because it's 58 dollars and i'm sorry but that is not worth it pretty sure this is going to end up being a tj i see where they were going with this one but also because it's so expensive you know no so i mean i'm still gonna use it i enjoy it from time to time it, it works but definitely not one that i would recommend you guys to run out to and get today if you see it on sale it's okay you know it's fine but not for 50 um uh, next i wanted to speak to you guys about this right here by maybelline this is the fit me tinted moisturizer so i've been testing out a bunch of tinted moisturizers i'm actually gonna be having finally my um cream blush video i'm gonna have that video up next week i want to say it's a collaboration with one of my good friends on here so i'm really excited about that so i wasn't talking on my butt you know um anyways also with the tinted moisturizers i did definitely now i feel like i'm zooming through my words for the tinted moisturizers i um also wanted to let you guys know what are my favorites and what what aren't my favorites i have drier skin so you know there are some that i prefer and then some that i don't this right here is one i purchased from ulta and i really really like it, it has nice medium coverage it blends out really beautifully it doesn't feel drying on my skin for some reason with tinted moisturizers i find that i blend it out and it almost feels like it's so drying on the skin even though it sometimes can say it's like a hydrating version it's like my face feels like it's so dry and scratchy like itchy i say scratch but yeah that doesn't make sense my brother's like what are you saying so a lot of times with tinted moisturizers, I don't know what ingredients they have in there, but my face itches like insanely. With this one, I'm good. It blends out beautifully. I like to wear this on more natural days. I can go light with this if I use a little, but if I'm going for more of like a look, like I'll still use this and it looks really good. I think it's definitely one of the better ones out there across the board, high end and drugstore. This has been really, really beautiful. I love, I love. It doesn't look cakey on the skin also and doesn't really emphasize. It just looks very like seamless. Next we have this right here from Tree Hot. I love, love, love this brand. They're sold on Ulta site. Their body care products are delish. So I figured I would try out their sugar face scrub so this is for the face that's right here specifically is in banana oat but they have a few other scents to choose from i didn't like this i think that i'm going to use it for the body but for the face this is so harsh this is so harsh you can feel like every single piece of sugar in here and it almost feels like it's like ripping the skin because it's so like intense do you know what i mean so on its own no 
but I used it with like other cleansers, like regular cleansers, a drop of this just to get a little bit of like the exfoliation going and it worked okayly, but I, I would just say stay clear of this. There's so many other drugstore exfoliators that work beautifully for the skin and they don't feel like your skin is being ripped apart kind of thing, especially for the face. You want something that's gonna work and exfoliate, but not something that's gonna feel like, you know, it, it, it's ripping the skin. That's how I feel like when I'm using this, honestly. Next, we have this right here from KBD Beauty. This is the Good Apple Foundation. This is my self tanning shade, so it definitely is pretty deep for me. So I don't like use it super regularly because I'm not always self tanned. This was like legit sold out everywhere for the longest time ever. And for me to get my hands on this was like a, a, an absolute miracle. Now, I feel like there's so many mixed reviews on this one. My take on it is. I have dry skin, I always like to say that just in case, but I think this is nice if you use a little bit. Initially, I took a decent amount of this and then I blended it out and my face looked so thick. Like you can see like the layer of foundation on my skin and it was like, whoa. Um, but then when I use less and blended it out, it looked so much nicer because this has like a, I don't know, it almost has like a mousse-like texture, mousse-like very thick moisturizing texture to it. I feel like you really don't need that much to even get like medium to full coverage. Um, I think that the deal with this one is less is more and really, really is with this. I think that it also will last you so much longer if you use it in that way. Um, when I do use less of this, I like what it does for the skin. It does give me, I would say, medium to pretty full coverage and it looks very healthy on. I feel like it gives me the perfect amount of glow without being too much and it's not necessarily mattifying for me. It also lasts pretty much the whole entire day. It wears off beautifully and... and why am I always dropping stuff? And basically with this, the whole idea for me is less is more. Less is more. Less is more. Okay, next up we have this right here by Flower Beauty. This is the Seal the Deal Luminizing Setting Spray. I purchased this from Ulta. I was really excited about it because, I mean, Luminizing Setting Spray, that's like my motto of life. I love anything that will give me that like luminous effect. So I used up a decent amount of this. You do have to shake it because uh, the oils do um, separate. I don't really like this. It's just so interesting how sometimes with these kind of products, it just makes my face itch. I don't know what it is. So that's what this does for me. And also it almost feels like my face is drier than it was before. Like it doesn't give me that like youthful, like glowy, luminizing effect at all, which is so shocking because I thought it would. It almost gives me even more of a drying feel. I know that the e.l.f. coconut mist is delicious on my skin. The Tatcha luminous mist also so good like that really good those two really give me like glow like a glowy glowy effect also the um the tula luminizing mist those three are like the best for me that i have found so i want to add this to the brady bunch to see like if this would really like be something that i will enjoy it's definitely going to be a no i don't find that necessarily sets my makeup in really um and it doesn't add anything it just i don't i actually prefer not to use this because when I use this I just feel like I don't like how my makeup is looking. I feel like I'm being so like firm in this video but like that's just really what it is and honestly even though this is like $10-$12 I wouldn't want you guys to spend the money on it if you're really needing something that's really gonna hydrate and make your uh, skin look really pretty and glowy you know. Next we have I have a lot of like fails. This right here from Benefit. This is the Fire Queen 4 Scope Palette. So in here we get a bronzer. Let's see. Let me show you. Bronzer, blushes, and highlighter. We get Hula Bronzer, which is one of my favorite bronzers of all time. So I love that that's included in here. And this is $36. I did purchase this on my own as well as the Flower Mist. And I'm not sure if I said that. We also get the Starlit Blush, which I believe is a newer one to their line. They're probably going to release this in a box powder soon. We get Blaze Highlighter, which sucks. And then the Solstice Blush. So for me personally, the only product that I love in here is the Hula Bronzer. This Starlit um, blush is just very regular, very basic, very typical. Um, doesn't really have much pigmentation to it. You have to really, really sit there and build up. It blends out nicely. It's decent. It's okay. Really nothing to write home about, I would say, for me personally. Blaze is like the one of the worst highlighters I've ever tried in my entire life. It really barely has any pigmentation. Barely goes on the skin. And even when it does go on the skin, it looks like absolute nothing. It almost is like, what's the point of really putting this on? Even for a natural look, it just looks more powdery than like like glowy and like highlightery on the face. And, and then Solstice, I would say, isn't as bad. I mean, it does have a decent amount of pigmentation to it. It actually looks pretty nice on the skin. Um, 
but I'm, I don't know what it is about that color specifically. I guess it's personal preference. I just don't love how that looks on my skin. The undertone of it, I don't know if it's just because it has also gold reflex in there. It just doesn't suit my skin tone as well as I would like. Um, so I'm not crazy about that. Also, I kind of feel like it emphasizes my pores a little bit. With, with Luminous, this is more like a Luminous finish. With Luminous uh, blushes, it's very tricky. Like with some brands, they do it well and it looks good. But with some, you, you can see everything, like every single pore on the face. And I'm not about that life. So for me, this is more of like a fail type of palette, especially since it's like 30 something or 40 something bucks. There are so many other ones on the market that are much better than this. If I would have loved and consistently used all the shades, then it would be worth it for me. But because I'm only pretty much using this and I'm not really loving these as much, especially these two, like they're like definitely thumbs down. Um, I just kind of feel like it's a little bit of a waste of money. I, also, this is a very personal preference. I hate the packaging. I don't know if I ever said the word hate on my channel, but like I absolutely despise the packaging of this. Wow. I'm not really sure what I was thinking when I purchased this. I just thought the inside would be like heaven. So I'm like, okay, fine. You know, sometimes you got to look past the outside. But yeah, this is mostly going to be a no. I know that they have a few other like quads to choose from. So maybe just this one is just very mediocre, very like blah style. But I definitely wouldn't really spend. Next up, we have this right here from NYX. This is the Marshmallow Primer. Love this. Love. I actually did um, someone's makeup yesterday, a client's makeup, and I used this. She's like, whoa, that smells amazing. I'm like, yeah, it's a new primer from NYX. It smells like marshmallows. So delicious on the skin. Um, I would say she has normal skin, not necessarily too oily or dry. And it worked out beautifully for her. I have dry skin and it's perfect. My friend Leah has oily skin and she loves this. I would say across the board, I think this could really work out for everyone i feel like it does a great job with filling in the pores um, and also just keeping your skin looking good you know and for a drugstore primer like i haven't seen that in a hot minute so i would definitely say it's really really solid stuff i got this from target they have this size and then a full bigger size as well once this is done i'll probably purchase the full size but this has been one of my favorites for uh since i purchased it it's really good. It's really um, good. Next, I have this right here by Flower Beauty. This is the Fiber Fix Brow Gel. So I picked this up from Ulta a little bit ago in my previous Ulta haul, I want to say. Love the wand on this one. It's not too tiny, but it's not too huge. Very typical for like a brow gel. It also has little fibers in there, and I feel like it does a great job with adding a very like mm, fluffy effect to the brows. I have mine in the shade Brunette. I think that they have maybe two or three other shades to choose from amazing i really really love this it's not not pigmented but it's not overly pigmented either i think it's just in the middle there so you can go you know heavy in a good way though or lighter with this i like to use this on its own on those days where i just want to throw something on or i'll just use this to set in my brows and i love it the formula seems nice it doesn't make your brows crunchy and like stiff and hard but it keeps them in place so this is definitely a winner in my book i'm very picky with brow products very very but this plus next we have this right here from nyx it's the bear with me luminous tinted skin serum i purchased this from ulta a little bit ago <laughs> wow first of all packaging wise i see where they were going with this they wanted to do something different unique i i feel it i feel it but it's gonna be a no for the packaging first of all the product comes out of here so you have to like push it down and then squeeze this part because this is glass you can't like squeeze the glass also i lost the cap apparently because it's so tiny so like i I don't like I don't know where it is you know what I mean and in this house I definitely know I'm not gonna find it even if I clean it like spotlessly it'll be nowhere to be found so this was just chilling in my drawer and half of it spilled out a little bit of a mess situation so packaging no but I appreciate that they tried something new in regards to the actual product this does zero for my skin legit zero zip zilch it doesn't it just there isn't even light coverage with this it almost like comes out like the color of the tinted moisturizer, but it almost just like sinks into the skin in a way where like it, you're putting moisturizer on your skin. There's no color to it really. It almost turns into nothingness. It doesn't, even not the skin tone, it doesn't cover up anything. It It's barely like, basically you know how like it's like medium or full coverage? This is like not even on the spectrum of, of, of the chart because it does nothing. It's pretty much in the, in the same category as a primer. So, and also like it feels, it doesn't feel good on the skin. It feels like heavy and um, it feels like you have something on and like it's just sitting there. It does not sink in. It doesn't feel good. So like even if you want to use this with like say like a, like a 
real tinted moisturizer of some sort um, it almost feels like you put a layer of, of something on your skin it's like why do I have like almost like a cement feeling thing on my face so I'm not really sure what the vibe of this one is it really does nothing I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe work it in different ways but I've tried it a few times and it wasn't no. okay and then finally the last item that I have here is from Patrick Ta this is his major dimension eyeshadow palette this retails for $68 I did do a first impression on this so I'll have that video linked down below it's on my page if you want to check it out this beautiful I did purchase it on my own. I didn't send it to me. I have no idea who I am. But I think this is one of the best neutral palettes I've tried. And I'm not just saying that. I think that this formula really is exceptional. So we have mattes over here. Four mattes. They blend in like absolute butter. Butter. One, two, three. Barely any effort needs to be put in there. And it looks so good. These tones are also so beautiful. This is more of like a matte with like sparkle. Sometimes I'll just use it on, it, on its own. And it looks good. Like it's just like little like sparkliness going on on the eyelids. <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. The English of that. Wow. And we have these metallics here. They have a little bit of like a textured feel to them. But definitely not in a cheap way. They have a little bit of fallout. But they just, the way they look on the eyes. Wow. Like multi-dimensional goddess vibes so beyond pretty and sparkly but not hard to work with at all I, I just love it and this one right here is more of like a matte with little specks of glitter which i just consider to be like a matte just that's just how i use it and it's also a nice shade to use on its own i like to use a lot of these just on their own i think this is so nice and on top here we have two creams which i like that he added something different to a regular powder palette and i like that there's like a little flap on this so genius so cool love that um i don't use these as much as i would like it's not shade it's not like a formula that i go for when i open up this palette but i did use it a few times just to kind of like put down as a base and then i'll put one of these on top and it lasts longer and it's maybe a little bit more vibrant but i don't feel like you need to do that to get the vibrancy of these to be like boom i like to use these sometimes as a one swipe swatch situation or maybe i'll just use it as like liner i'm not gonna lie i don't really use those as much but i like that it's included in here because you have the option to play around with it and see what you can come up with um using that formula but yeah i love it even though it's just another neutral palette it really is a neutral palette <sighs> the formula let me tell you i love i love a few of you guys asked me like what's better and tasha don't know this one don't put me in that position i have no idea i don't know you know my heart is natasha but patrick has got going on his formula is really spectacular all right i think that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful let me know if you tried any of these products if they worked out for you or if they didn't if you agree with me or disagree with me i always love to hear your opinion on either these products or products in general keep me posted um and i will see you guys in my next video bye